And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. Apologies for the format because, well, I'm in a hotel room and it is 4 a.m. local time. But let's continue on with the actual news. So AMD has reaffirmed the launch of their upcoming 7 nanometer products, which go on to include Ryzen 3000 series CPUs, Epic ROM server chips, and AMD Radeon Navi graphics cards in Q3 2019. All three product lines have their launch plan for a Q3 2019 and AMD further confirmed availability during their annual shareholder meeting. The confirmation suggests that AMD is on track for the launch of their next generation 7 nanometer based products, which include the AMD Ryzen 3000 series processors for mainstream desktop PCs, Epic ROM chips for servers, and Radeon Navi graphics cards for gaming PCs. All three products will feature the TSMC process technology along with new architectures with Ryzen and Epic being powered by the new Zen 2 CPU cores and AMD Radeon Navi powered by a new GPU architecture that replaces its Vega based predecessors. The AMD Ryzen 3000 lineup is based on the new Zen 2 core architecture which is made possible with TSMC's bleeding edge 7 nanometer process node and AMD has reaffirmed that their Zen 2 based Ryzen 3000 series processors for the AM4 desktop platform will be available mid of 2019. Back during CES 2019, AMD demoed an eight core sample of their third generation Ryzen desktop series processor against Intel's Core i9-9900K. The AMD sample was not only faster, but consumed much lower power doing so. That sample, however, was just the tip of the iceberg as AMD assured us that it was still an early version and final clock speeds would be higher in retail variants. Not only that, but Ryzen 3000 series CPUs were later confirmed to feature up to 16 cores as there is space available for a second Zen 2 chiplet on the main chip interposer, which should bring enthusiast level multi-threading performance down to the AM4 platform. Now on to Navi. We know a few tidbits about the features that AMD Navi GPU will support, such as ray tracing, which has recently confirmed by a highlight on the next generation Sony and Microsoft consoles, which are utilizing AMD Navi 10 GPUs, and Zen 2 based Ryzen CPUs. There were also talks about variable rate shading being introduced on Navi GPUs as a bid by AMD to more modernize their Radeon graphics cards for the mainstream market. Navi would possibly be the last GPU architecture based on AMD's GCN DNA. It was confirmed through AMD's Linux driver that Navi is indeed based on GCN and has the latest GFX1010 codename, while Vega was termed as GFX900. There would also be some major improvements made on this Navi architecture in terms of IPC and 7 nanometer efficiency, which would be showcased for the new cards, providing more drastic results compared to the Radeon 7, which was also 7 nanometer based, but was simply a die shrunk Vega 10 GPU. We have already seen a leaked PCB shot for an upcoming Navi based GPU with GDDR6 memory and some rumored specifications, which are listed in the article linked below. But one thing for sure, Navi-based Radeon GPUs will replace the existing mainstream cards, while the Radeon 7 will continue serving the enthusiast market as AMD's flagship until high-end Navi cards are introduced, which are currently rumored for sometime in 2020. At that point, they will be competing with Intel and Nvidia both in the market. AMD has planned out multiple events to pre-announce their upcoming products, starting off with Computex 2019 on May 27th and at E3 2019 on June 10th. AMD will be presenting their new products and also announcing the proper availability dates for their consumer-based lineups, which have been previously suggested for an official launch sometime in July of 2019. Possibly 7-7, even though that's a Sunday, it wouldn't be above them. Now I'd ask if you good folks were getting excited about the upcoming releases, but I think that's kind of obvious at this point. But either way, we'd love to hear from you down in the comment section below. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.